Uh, board members, if we can get you to take your seat, we'll get your seat. We'll get started. Want to welcome everyone to our board meeting. Um, looks like not a, a really fun day to be traveling in, but it looks like we we've got everybody here. That um, so we'll we'll get started. Uh, first on our agenda is a uh, Pledge of Allegiance by board member who will lead that board member Joel Wright. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next we'll have um, our board member message from board member Cheryl Bolter. Let me get you to turn that on. Thank you. Um, for my board member message, I am just going to offer a prayer. Our dear kind Father in heaven, we're thankful that we could be gathered together and to be able to discuss the affairs of the wonderful state of Utah. We ask thee to be with us as we talk about the direction of this state and that we will be able to feel thy promptings and know what we should do. We're thankful that we're able to serve in this capacity and we're thankful for the wonderful teachers that we have and the amazing staff that we have here at the board offices. We're thankful for the children of the state of Utah and for the ability to be able to make decisions on their behalf that will further strengthen their families and we're thankful for thee and for thy son and we say these things in the name of thy son Jesus Christ amen, amen. amen this is the first time at the helm here with this communication system so I hopefully before the end of the day I'll have it figured out uh, next, we'll have the uh, introduction of our new employees. And we need to turn that mic on so I can turn that on, Board Member Belknap. Okay, should be good to go. That's good. All right, cool. Um, so my name is Eric Sirwa. I work in HR. Um, we have quite a few new employees today. I'll let each one come up, introduce themselves, and where they work. Hello, I'm Brian Ross, and I work in finance. Hello, everyone. My name is Isaac Amarillis, and I'm with IT. Hi, my name is Young Lee. I'm with IT Ops. My name is Kim Baker, and I work for special education. My name is Ellen Bailey, and I work for special education. My name is Annette D'Agostini, and I work for special education and compliance and monitoring. Um, thank you for joining USB. <laughs> thank you. Uh, next, we'll have the acknowledgement of our student artwork, and we have our educational specialist, Kathy Jensen. We need to turn that back on. I, I'm so good on these controls, I turned it off. Good morning. I am going to turn some time to board member Warner to introduce the art here. Okay, I have no artistic abilities, but I really like this. Um, the artwork comes from Mount Logan Middle School. The teacher is Jen Thomas, and she, well, that is watercolor. watercolor. <laughs> I told you I have no abilities. <laughs> Um, and this is really cool. So she was sending me some pictures when they were working on them in class. And um, I just thought they were really neat. Uh, what did they do? I don't know how you do this. So they did uh, warm colors on, on one side of the accordion and cool colors on the other side of the accordion. So if you look at them from different angles, you see the different patterns and colors. Yes. 
And in the artwork they did, um, I think there was somebody with Moab, they did some beach scenes. So take a look at it. These are seventh and eighth graders. She is a great teacher. The kids love her over there. And um, she is currently chaperoning kids in Branson, Missouri right now. So a shout out to, to Jen. She's a great teacher. Is, am I supposed to say anything else? No. Okay. Thanks. Board member Warner was uh, kind enough to deliver this artwork to us, picked it up from the teacher and brought it to us. So it is from her area. Thank you. And the, in the back of the room, uh, we have work again from Indian Hills Elementary School. Uh, Jennifer Schill is the Beverly Taylor Sorensen Arts Learning Program. On the back wall, the students studied the five national parks in Utah. The the landforms in those parks and the animals and the habitats in which they live. On the east wall, the students studied Eric uh, Carl's book, Draw Me a Star, and then they learned the art of making a star and um, hanging themselves on the star. I love that some of the little girls hanging from the stars have cute little crowns. So that is from Indian Hills Middle School, or Indian Hills Elementary School, Jennifer Shield, the Beverly Taylor Sorensen Arts Learning Program Specialist in Salt Lake City School District. Thank you. Thank you. And next up we'll have our education highlight, and we have our science specialist, Ricky Scott, will introduce the students from North Davis Preparatory Academy. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be with you today. Um, I have four wonderful students from North Davis um, Preparatory Academy. Um, these kids participated in an international competition called Ciencia en Acción, which is a competition, a science competition that happened in Spain in completely in Spanish. This is one of our dual language immersion schools. And these kids, I, I don't want to take any more of their time. They are Amazing. So, um, I will let them introduce themselves to you and share with you their experience. Hello, this is the Science in Action group in North Davis Preparatory Academy. Here we have Jameson, Xander, and Ethan. And I'm Alex. <laughs> you can, my full name's Alexandria, but you can just call me Alex. <laughs> so, today we're going to explain our experience for Science in Action, and now I'm going to turn the time over to Jameson first and then we'll just keep going on from that. Hi, my name is Jameson Allred, and um, I'm from North Davis Preparatory Academy. I am in sixth grade, and last year I went to Spain for Science in Action, and I really loved the experience on going to Spain and getting to like see th the things there and speak Spanish and interact with people and stuff. Um, one of my favorite things um, there was um, probably the um, the cooking class we did, um, where we got to like prepare some s Spanish um, foods, and I thought that was really fun. Hi, my name is Xander Ethington, and I am a sixth grader at North Davis Preparatory Academy and I went to Spain last year and I was and it was amazing my first time ever going to Spain and I it was a good experience to go to Spain and m there were lots of things and I don't know what my favorite part of being in Spain was but the cooking class <coughs> was definitely a good thing. Hello, my name is Ethan Kuhn. Uh, I, my project was on astronomy and the relation of it with uh, ancient cultures, such as the Fremont Indians. We went to visit them, or their remains in uh, Price, and the, we got to see some of the old houses they made out of rock. We got to see, most importantly, the petroglyphs, and we studied them and 
tried to figure out the meanings and we talked with many experts on the meaning of the petroglyphs to because the petroglyphs were a symbolism of their life and how they did it they had things like working calendars just by petroglyphs and the sun made shadows and it told them the time or the the month or anything like that and it was really cool seeing how their life revolved around astronomy and it it was really fun eventually we got to go to spain and we had a great experience it was it was pretty hard getting there we got stuck in amsterdam for 11 hours with seven kids and seven adults so that was pretty hard but the airport was big <laughs> So we and en we ended up getting there. Luckily, we weren't sure if we were gonna, but we ended up getting there, and it was just a great experience. We did so many things in Spain. I can't name them all, but it was really fun. Hi, I'm Alexandria Johnson. <laughs> I'm too tall. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alexandria Johnson. As I said before, my project was on black holes astrophysics. When we attended, when we. Oh, I can't speak today. When we attended North Davis Prep and went to Spain, we had the most wonderful time. So when we were stuck in Amsterdam, like Ethan said, I just couldn't go anymore. I crashed. Nobody could wake me up. My dad had to pick me up, and I wasn't really awake. My body was awake, but my head was just like, I'm dead. So I was following them, but I was sleepwalking. I woke up, and I'm just like, what? Where am I? It was so funny. And so when we actually got to the competition, my suitcase was still in Amsterdam. <laughs> By the time it got there, the judges were there. It was, Host Manuel told them to wait for another day. It was so relieving when I actually got all my stuff. <laughs> so I have my stuff here, and if you want me to pass them around, would you, would you like me to pass them around? The backpack of amazingness has everything you need to know. So in there, we I have everything you need to know in there. And I have pictures, I have my project, and but I, so far I don't have so sorry, I don't have my biggest part and most interesting part of my project with, which is the black hole demonstration, which you can search up online. It's just fabric, a uh, blood ball and a hula hoop. And it's super fun. So if you guys have any questions for any of us, you can ask. Okay, questions from board members? Sorry, yes, questions from board members. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm looking for lights. I, who said that? I don't know where anybody is. Is that you, Mark? I'm Mark. Hello. Good, good to see you. So board member Bill Knapp has a question. Where's Bill? Bill, where are you? Right here. Right oh, here. Laura. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, I, I, I was interested. What was the competition? Was it more like a science fair, or were you competing by somebody doing astrophysics against someone with astrophysics, black hole against black hole? How was the competition? Who wants to explain this? I, um, I, I guess I can. Okay. Um, I, I guess it was kind of more like a, a science fair because it wasn't like a competition like full on comp competing against people it was more like like a fair where the judges would walk around and you would talk to them and they would ask questions and then they would just um decide who did really good and that kind of thing do you do you have a follow up board mem board member Belknap? No. okay um vice chair Alisa Ellis has a question. Where's, where are you? Hello. I don't have a question. I just want to tell you guys I'm proud of you, and I think what you did was amazing and uh, really fun. I'm glad that you got to have that experience. Th th thank you. Okay. Um, next, we have, sorry, did I interrupt you? No. no. Oh, sorry. Um, board member Cannon. Yes, I, I have a question for the young man who did his uh, project on petroglyphs. Uh, are petroglyphs unique to Utah, or did people in Spain have any idea about uh, what petroglyphs are, and and uh, how did your Utah-centric uh, 
science project play over in Spain, were they surprised by it? Were they familiar with it? Could you tell us that? Yeah, the judges were scientists themselves, so they were very aware of what petroglyphs were. Uh, they're not as common in Spain, but we looked it up, and there were actually some really interesting ones in Spain. We unfortunately didn't have the time to go see them while we were there, but they did have them, and the scientists were aware of what they were. They were, they were really understanding of the concept, so that helped a lot. So in my bag, I have something that I want to turn on, so I'm going to come around and turn that on. While you're, while you're setting that up, uh, um, Gravit, do you have a question or a comment? Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming, and I wanted to ask, did you have to speak Spanish while you were there? Did you have to explain your projects in Spanish? And would anybody be willing to, not that I would understand, but explain something in Spanish to us about your project? I'll translate it for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> en español. En so we did have to speak Spanish while we were there. Well, it was fun, and so something that we did was los dinosaurios son nos, nosotros hemos pensado que los dinosaurios se muertan por meteoritos. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Si. Yeah. I think you might have mixed up your languages. <laughs> okay. Um, bo was board that, was that oh, go French? Ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. What 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 did you say? I, I was going to say board member um, Cummins has a question or a comment. Hi. Solamente en español, por favor. No sé. Um, <laughs> So um, I've been to Barcelona. What area of Spain did you go in? I honestly don't remember, but it wasn't like was it, it was pretty. It's kind of no. I don't no. think so. Was it? In, um, it was Bilbao. Bilbao. Okay. And did you have tapas? And did you find that a siesta between one and three was very difficult? Because I found that very difficult. Um, <laughs> when I, when I got there, I just crashed again. So so you so you experienced. I siesta think the whole I don't. Time. I didn't sleep at all on the trip there. I <laughs> suck. Well, I don't, I, everybody I'm, else like crashed a couple times, I'm, but I crashed like one or two times. I'm asking because you may, you said you were in a cooking class. Oh yeah, correct? yeah, yeah. And so do you know what, a t you know what tapas are? Um, sorry, I, I don't know, but who, okay, who did? did? Who did? Go. Um, talk. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I kind of remember. Okay. Um, I'm not sure though. But I, from what I remember, wasn't it like the the kind of like like mashed potatoes or something? It's, it's like finger oh, foods that, that you <laughs> have during siesta. siesta. Oh, oh, right. Siesta. I think it was like those like cupcake things that had like spices on them. Yes, like, some of that. Yes, yeah. some of that was. Yeah. So does anybody else have any other questions? And just so you know, that little black cylinder, you have to like look into it, and t that's a telescope. So, if you're wondering what that was, okay. Mark, do you have anything else to yes, say? Yes, well, we do, yeah. Um, well, I'm trying to keep track of everyone else that wants to t have something to say well, here, which is kind of Well, you haven't asked any questions. Stop worrying about everybody so, else. Um, <laughs> we'll maybe, maybe I should. There, there you go. Vice Chair Ellis has a, a question or a comment. Okay, is that, is, okay, there you go. It's are. me again. Hello. So, um, I have a request for Ethan. Ethan. If Ethan could explain in Spanish his experience with uh, North, all of a sudden my mind went blank of what the name of the school, North Preparatory Academy, please. Thank you. North Davis. North Davis Preparatory. Thank you. Sí, mi experiencia con la escuela de North Davis es increíble. Yo soy muy orgulloso por ser, por ser estudiante 
en esa escuela. Tengo muchos profesores buenísimas como José Manuel y señora Nisha de matemáticas. Me gustó mucho aprender el español porque puedo comunicar con otras personas como, como de España. Uh, eso no, si yo no fui en NDPA, eso no, no podía pasar, no podía hacer las ciencias en acción, nada, nada así, porque yo necesito a, saber español para hacer esas cosas y e, es muy divertido aprender también. Me gustó mi escuela muchísimo. Oh, very good. The, the interrogation still is not over. Um, uh -huh. It's not uh, over. It isn't. Because you haven't asked any questions I have yet. A que I have a, I have a, I'll have the final question. Um, board member Nielsen? Hello, yes, Nielsen. Uh, I just, en español. <laughs> you don't have to. No. <coughs> That's, I can, but I won't. <laughs> so I just, um, th you got, this, this is so fantastic. I am so excited to see kids like yourselves, the opportunity to go to Bilbao, Spain, and to... Uh, dual immersion. I, I hope that all of us in here can realize how important dual immersion is and what an advantage these, these students are going to have here and uh, right in, in the here and now and then in the future uh, going to school and then becoming uh, fluent in b two languages. And in some of you, in, in some of your cases, you might even uh, learn three. Uh, <laughs> just a tremendous program and a tremendous opportunity for you guys to start uh, and to build your knowledge and skills in both languages really, really tremendous will serve you greatly throughout the rest of your lives. So I'm so happy and proud of you guys and I'm, I'm certain that when you're in 12th grade and moving on, you'll have the world by the tail. So congratulations and keep doing what you're doing. You will be very successful. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Oh, dang, I'm, I'm gonna ask my question, but board member Belknap, I was gonna be the concluding question. So what did you have? I just wondered if their, te their science teacher or their Spanish teacher were here with them today. Yes. Uh, that's, it, it's either. And, and I, I and, have a. And, and I want to just thank them for, okay. but thank you for your work. I have the same trouble that you with uh, Spanish. Uh, my English is uh, only, <laughs> only uh, what, repeat please. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think? Oh, it's gone now. Never mind. So it's back on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Anybody okay. else that has questions? Yes, I do. Okay, finally. Now, and this is for each of you. You, when you were in Spain and you and you see the students from Spain and their projects, I'd like to know from each one of you what was the coolest project that you saw. Um, that the students from Spain created or was working? Well, it wasn't just students from Spain. There was like some from Portugal, France, just like everywhere. Okay, so outside yeah, of the US, what, what, outside of the US okay. project, the My was favorite coolest? project was a green screen project and I actually checked it out. It was really cool. That was my favorite because it, I got to be Superman. Oh, good. Okay, James, what's your favorite? I kind of, before I um, answer the question, I just wanted to mention that, um, I don't think we mentioned it, but we are actually we're the first Americans to actually go and actually win this project, and Alex happened to be the first, um, yeah, girl to um, win this project, and American girl, yes. <laughs> and um, Ethan, the first to win, um, from like America and we're very proud to have been able to be the people to do that and so I think the coolest project was this I, I'm just a big Harry Potter fan so I really enjoyed the green screen thing they had because they like it was like the invisibility cloak so <laughs> I, I loved that so yeah And I'd just like to mention that none of this would have happened without all the adults helping, such as Jose Manuel, our science teacher, even our other teachers making time so that we could come out of class sometimes and work on our projects. Uh, my mom spent, I think it was 80 hours working on the PowerPoint. And so 
it, it was it was a, it took a huge team effort. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody else. So what was your, oh, my favorite part. Um, yeah, I think it was, there was one on the, forgot. Okay, I'm trying to think of the projects. Okay, there, there was one relating it to Star Wars. They were, they were saying if this is, uh, they were trying to tell the difference between Star Wars Star Wars in reality, and what was real in Star Wars, and what was fake in other science fiction movies, and I thought that was really interesting to compare it to real science. Well, I don't remember like most of the projects. I just remember looking at the plants and going to the green screen. <laughs> the green screen was fun, and I w loved looking at all the plant projects that people did. So I guess that concludes our meeting. If you'd like to thing, meet Thing, and if you'd like to meet us a little bit more personally, we'll be. Oh yeah, are there any other questions other than Mr. Huntsman? Um, I think I think we we're pretty good here, and we appreciate okay. you being here. However, there is a request to try to get the board in and with a picture with you. Oh yes, and so we'll be doing that. The, probably the best Definitely. place. We're Very trying much to we'll think be doing that. If <laughs> superintendent, do you want them? Yeah, if we could just stay here, maybe have this side of the board stand behind. But you guys stay seated, and the rest of the board okay. stand behind. Okay. One more thing. We'll Does anybody want our autograph? <laughs> 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 okay. Who wants? Pic who's ready for picture time? So, uh, board member Bill, now let's move a desk and put them in front, and then we'll have the, and put the, kids in front. the photographers here and the. Uh, Oh, senior men, senior men, can we get you a picture? Oh, get it. What? That's connected, so be careful of the connection. Step over the Step over